this lecture we will look at the 3d view and we will see how we can uh, look at the 3d view and how we can do the editing in that one as well so for the 3d view you can just simply click on the general perspective or what you can do is you can just go here and click on this 3d all to look at this 3d view as you can see here that i'm panning with the help of a scroll wheel and i'm rotating with the help of shift and middle uh, that is scroll wheel as you can see here so this is what we have modeled till now in the 2d and you can clearly see exactly how good this one is looking and how easily we have modeled this one in archicad you can see that although we have uh, some kind of problem at this region here so yeah that happens but that you don't have to worry about i have shown you how to fix the problem and you can see this is exactly what we have modeled till now in the 3d view okay let's say that you want to make some um, modification in the 3d view in that case you have to select the wall uh right now you can see that uh, you are getting these kinds of options so let me press escape and for a better view i will select this wall here so let's select this wall here and now you can see that you can click on this one and you're going to get a lot of uh, different option here as you can see from if you look at the pet palette let me keep this one this side and you can see that we have these different options available you can do the uh, modification in that one here as well uh, just like the 2d view but you will get a bunch of different option you can see that you have stretch height you can stretch the height above or below okay you can see this uh, option is for the drag you can drag that one here in this direction or in that direction so that's totally depend on you and this is how you have you can model uh, these things in the 3d as well okay so uh, this is the end of this lecture and i just want to show you the 3d view of that one and how you can do the editing in this In this lecture, we will see how we can do the setup of the slab. Okay. So for that, what you have to do, if, if you look here, you will see that this is the slab tool. So let's simply click here. And after that, let's simply enter control T. And let's go to, let's first of all cancel this one. Go to this 2D view and again control T. Okay. And now here, if you look here carefully, you will see that if you look at this one, this is a structural basic component and this is the generic one. So we will go with this generic as uh, because we don't know what exactly our material will be. So we'll simply choose this one. And if you look here, the concrete structure, it is selected as a structure. So we will go and uh, select the generic uh, one. Okay. So let's click here and let's scroll down. So now we have to find the generic structural and you can see that this is what we are looking for. So let's simply click on that one that is generic structure. And now you can see that we have successfully selected the generic structure. And here you can just set the angle if you want. Uh, but right now I'm going to keep this one as a strip. And if you look at the thickness, you will see that thickness of this slab is 300 mm. That is fine. And the home story is at ground floor. You can see that. And if you look here, you will see that this is, this length is from the top of the slab from this ground floor. And if you want to change this to the bottom, you can just simply click on that one. You can see that this hand, this has been changed to the bottom. So I will make this one to the top as earlier one. So these are some of the basic settings that you have to do before modeling the slab. So let's simply click on. Okay. So there are various methods of modeling the slab. Uh, we will see that one in the next lecture. lighted color is of green color it means that we have selected the slab and now let's say that you want to do some editing here so for that what you can do here is that you can just simply click on let's first of all let's click on this edge here and now you can see that we have this option of uh, adding the node so you can just simply insert a new node here at this end and after that, what you can do is you can do the same thing on this side as well. You can just simply do a click here and you can add the new node with the help of this button here. Let's simply add a new node here. So what exactly the point of this one? So now if I'm going to select this line here, okay, this whole line, I can just shift it in this direction with the help of these nodes. Okay. As you can see here, I can just shift that one uh, with the help of these nodes just like that. Or what I can do here is that I can 
just use the offset age option to just trim this part to this level just like that and now you can see that we have successfully uh, offset this part uh, just like that without any problem so this is one method now let's look at the another one so we will go here in this region okay now i will again click here after that i will again add the node okay i will add a node here add this okay let's control z let's select here click on this edge here let's again select here and click here let's add a node here and then after that click a node here and then select here now you can see that we have successfully moved this one but this one has also got moved here so in that case what you have to do is you have to again add a node here so what i will do is i will simply click here and then click a add node here so i will simply click a add here node here and after that i am going to move this node here just like that and again what you have to do is you have to click here again you have to add a node and then pick this line and then click on this node and match it here so in that way also you can uh, model uh, just like that you just simply need to add the node so let's do it one more time here as well so let's simply click here again click here let's click here or we can use the offset method for this whole building so for this whole line okay let's click here let's click on this one and after that let's click here so what we are going to do next is we will just simply click on that one and after that we are going to offset this line as well so offset is so let's click on this one and offset up to this level so as you can see here that these are two methods by which you can uh, model this kind of slab so this is the modeling techniques that you can use in archicad in the next lecture we will see about uh, adding or removing the slab okay In this lecture, we will see how we can uh, add or remove the slab. So for that, what you have to do here is that uh, uh, right now, if you look here, you will see that I right now the geometry method is selected as uh, this rectangular. Okay. So here, what I will do is I will go to this slab here. Okay. That is slab tool. And here, uh, I just want to show you something that if I go here and click on this point and after that, I I have let me place my pet palette here and you can see that we have these options that is add to polygon and then subtract from polygon so what if if I click on this add to polygon I can just simply click here and I can just add uh, the slab here just like that in that case if you want to add this slab uh, and also you can subtract that one as well so right now what i will do is i will just simply enter ctrl z from my keyboard to undo whatever changes i have made okay now uh, let me show you how you can cut a portion in this region so for that if you look here right now you can see that the geometry method is selected as a rectangular so i'm going to change this to geometry method polygonal so after clicking on that one what i will do is i will simply do a click here okay and after that what i will do is uh, first of all or oh, first of all let's press escape okay and let's select on this joint and here uh, what i will do is you have to set the distance so i'm going to set the distance as uh, let's set the distance as 3700 let's hit enter okay so right now we are here and after that you have to take your mouse cursor in this direction and set the distance as 3000 let's hit enter and after that match it like this here at 90 degree and then again you have to take your mouse cursor and, and select it like this so in this way you can just cut out this section just like that as you can see here that we have successfully created a hole in this region as you can see here as per our project requirement if you want to see this thing in the 3d view you can do that one as well so for that what you have to do as you have to just simply go to this 3d all and now you can see that we have uh, this region available for the staircase as you can see here so in this way you have to do the cutout okay 
so now if you want to go back to uh, this uh, uh, ground floor plan you just simply click on this one and right now we are at the ground floor plan alternatively you can just press f2 to uh, switch to the ground floor plan that is plan view okay so now that we are done with this part uh, what i will do is i will go to this arrow tool okay and then after that i will select this one here this one here so i will shift and select this one this one this and this so i'm going to make some change here so i'm going to shift this whole wall in this region here now uh, so for that what i will do uh, i will just simply enter control d and after that i will choose this point here you can see this point and after that i will take my mouse cursor sorry just enter control d and let's choose uh, this point here and take this to this grid here that this intersection so now that we have successfully moved with this wall and this side what we are going to do in this lecture we are going to complete the rest of the slab so for that first of all you need to select the slab and after that we will open up the setting by pressing control t and here uh, we uh, have these settings so what i'm going to do here is that i will make this 250 okay and i will make this one minus 50 as per our project requirement so you will see you will see the difference in this 3d view there okay so don't worry about that you can see that we have shifted this one to 250 the thickness and just uh, lifted this one by minus 50 so let's simply click on okay now after that you can see that right now we are in this uh, uh, method polygonal mode so what you have to do next is you just simply need to select this point here okay after uh, press escape just select this point and after that take your mouse cursor to this point here okay at this edge and again you have to click here and again take your mouse cursor to this region just like that and then take your mouse cursor all the way to this region here and then again here and then again you have to take your mouse cursor to this region as you can see here the if you look at the angle that is 90 90 percent here but if you want an exact uh, 90 100 percent 90 degree angle in that case what you have to do is you have to press a and set the angle to 90 okay now the angle has been set what you can do here is that you can just take your mouse cursor just like that and just take your mouse cursor here okay it is at 90 degree again you have to click here and take your mouse cursor to this region here okay uh, but uh, what you can do here is that let's simply select on this one now we have successfully modeled our slab so let's click go to select mode and let's click here and you can see that we have modeled our slab here okay just like that now if you want to model this slab in this region as well what you can do here is that you can just simply uh, click on this one and after that you will get this option that is the add to polygon after that you have to well, let's say choose this section and you can click here and then after that you can click on this point click on this point here and then take your mouse cursor click here then again click here so in this way also you can add this uh, uh, slab here so now let's uh, look at the 3d view so this is our 3d view as you can see here i'm just rotating it, rotating it by shift and middle mouse scroll and you can see that we have modeled this slab just like that now if you want to model the slab on this side as well uh we are going to do also model the slab in this side as well so for that uh, we are going to use some uh, different uh, uh, thickness and settings so let's see that what settings these so what I will do here is that I will press escape and press escape and after that I will select this slab tool again 
after that simply enter control T. So here what I will do is I will make this one 300 and this one minus 50 that is fine. And after that, uh, let's close this one and make sure that you are in this mode that is the polygonal mode. And after that, we just simply need to select this point, this one and take your mouse cursor all the way up to this one here, this region. Then click here and then let's go to the initial point. So now we have uh, successfully modeled the slab on this side as well. After that, we have to model the slab in these regions as well. So what I will do is uh, uh, I will again make some changes in the slab tool. So I will simply enter control T and here what I will make this one hundred and this one as zero. Okay, these are all these things are as per pro your project requirement. In your case, you don't record these kinds of things. So that's totally depend on your project. So after that, just simply click on OK. So after that, what I will do here is that I will simply click on this point here and I will drag up to, let's say, uh, 3000. Hit enter. And again, you have to take your mouse cursor to this fourth number grid okay and let's simply select match it here just like that again take your mouse cursor here here you can see and after that just take it to the initial point and now we have successfully modeled the slab on this side as well. So now let's look have now let's have a look at the 3D view. So this is what we have modeled. Okay, let me go to the arrow tool and you can see that what we have modeled till now is this is what we have modeled as you can see here. So in this way you have to model the slab as you can see. This is very easy. So now let's go back to the ground floor.